So I just I will give you an outline of how to approach these questions. What are the key areas which you have to think in these questions? What are the key areas? How to approach the question? What is required from you? Previously, I should have given you an introduction about how to approach an ethics question. Previously, as an orientation, I should have already told you how to approach an ethics question. Anyhow, keep that also in the mind while we are discussing this question. The second question is a very simple question. According to Gandhi. means are more important than end discuss according to gandhi means are more important than end discuss sir what is this means what is the end always there is a confusion in ethics between the means and the ends always there is a confusion between the means and the ends which is primary which is more important what is the means 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 the way to reach the end means means the way to reach the end end is the final goal which you have decided yourself to achieve end is the final goal which you have decided yourself that you will go and achieve this goal end means is the path end is the destination so through your path you are going to walk and you are going to reach a destination and often in the western philosophers also and also in the indian side also indian philosophers and indian thinkers and maybe indian leaders this question of to reach a particular end what is the correct way or correct means to be adopted end of course nobody is questioning about the end which you are going to achieve everybody says that end is what for example in the indian freedom struggle freedom is the end everybody want independence the national movement is characterized to be what independence the end is purna swaraj that is a goal of the indian national congress that is the goal of the indians what is that purna swaraj complete independence what is the means means what is the way in which the end has to be reached different different people suggest in the western side western philosophers and indians that the means can be anything to reach that one end if the end is good the end justifies the means you are going to get independence finally you are going to get independence whichever way you adopt it is not going to matter so this concept is called ends justifying the means end is what independence as long as you get this independence nobody bothers which way or which means you adopted to make you understand let me give a simple example everybody wanted to clear the civil services for example clearing civil services or getting an ias is the end means means any way you do it we don't bother any way you do it we don't bother as long as you have become a civil servant an ias officer the means the path which you adopted doesn't matter so this concept is called ends justifying the means you have reached a correct place so whatever you did is justified you have reached an end you become an ias so whatever you did in the process of getting this ias everything would be justified this is called ends justifying the means but this is not what is morally ethically agreed by many of the modern thinkers including gandhi because the quote is given by gandhi means are more important than the ends gandhi says end let us not bother about the end whether you get purna swaraj or complete independence or you wanted to become ias that end let us not bother of course you decide that this is the end you want to reach but we are not bothered about the end because in front of you right now that is the end that is not in front of you in front of you right now end is not visible end is somewhere it has to be reached by a process after a time period of time a period of time you have to do you have to walk after a finite time or whatever time end is going to approach so gandhi is telling means are more important means are more important the way which you adopt the path which you adopt is more important than the end itself gandhi is not bothered about the end gandhi says yeah end is there but to reach the right end right means has to be adopted right means has to be adopted because gandhi is telling right means will definitely lead you to right end there is not a concept where in which you took the right means but ended up in a wrong ending no 
that is not there but the converse is true the first statement is not true for example you took a right path you will never land up in the wrong end the end will always be right it is not wrong but you reach the right end the path may sometimes be wrong that 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 difference is there so gandhi says always the means has to be right to reach the right end means is in our hand end is not in our hand end is a by product of the means means is what we do end is what we receive what we get so gandhi says our means our path our step our actions are to be good if our actions of our means are good definitely the end is going to be good so gandhi is telling means are more important than the end are we understanding sir is it a possibility that you do the right means but you don't get the right end is it a possibility can there be a possibility gandhi himself said that i am ready to walk through the right means even the end may be delayed for some time for example let us give a very clear example so that you will understand in the right perspective gandhi adopted non violent mass movement non violent mass movement to reach purna swaraj that is the end some people might be subhash chandra bose wanted to adopt a violent method he doesn't bother about the means he wanted about the ends what end he has to reach independence we have to get whichever means we adopt that is not an issue so we use violent methods we will get the independence very fast subhash chandra bose might have thought that but gandhi said that i am ready to wait for 100 years to get my independence by non violent method rather than getting my independence tomorrow morning by violent methods so gandhi was very clear right now we all accept the world also now we all accept if you adopt the right means the end may be the destination may be the time to reach the end may be slowed down but that is always going to be in the best interest of all that is always going to be to be the best interest of all if you adopt shortcuts to reach the end you can reach the end no problem i have have examples of one or two students who had cleared this ias examination by shortcuts but that is not going to remain longer because sooner or later he may be having some problems while in the service or maybe after so the point is that adopt right means to get the right ends so your means justify the end end does not justify the means are we understanding this please use all this approach in the case study that will be enough right